Hey guys, Bobby here. Today we're gonna take a look at Mango from Hack the Box. Um, as I sta as I stated in the previous video, uh, I started a new series called Just Retired, and as the series name suggests, I'm posting um, on the boxes that I've solved. Of course, I'm posting right up just in time as the as they expire. So uh, in the meanwhile, I've started the OSCP preparation. Uh, I mean the OSP uh, course. I've already routed about twelve or thirteen boxes, and I'm I expect to uh, have the exam somewhere in uh, early May. So wish me luck. All right, uh, let's get into it. <clears throat> so from from a basic enumeration, from a basic end map, we can see that. Uh, yeah, very very strange headers on the on that port. Uh, we can see that um, we have SSH open, which will be useful ne in in the near future. We have uh, HTTP on port eighty, uh, which is forbidden, and we we want we want really we we I mean we won't need it at all. And we have the HTTPS. Um, port 443 open as well and the uh, interesting thing here is that we have in the SSL certificate we have staging dot or uh, staging order dot mango dot hack the box and I'm gonna add I'm gonna add that to I'm gonna add uh, this and mango dot uh, hack the box on uh, uh, on at slash atc slash hosts do nano slash atc hosts and basically write the ip here so the ip address the ip address is 10 10 10 and you add it there and then you add the first uh, subdomain and the uh, domain name hang on the hack the box all right i'm gonna exit that um i'm gonna clear so if we go on a staging order, uh, this one I think, yeah, we can see that we have a uh, login a login page, which is kind of interesting. I mean nothing nothing interesting in the source code of the page whatsoever. Um, and if we also go back, I mean not go back. If we also go to on mango dot dot hack the box. Oh sorry, on HTTPS. Like that, we can see on uh, advanced except the risk of course uh, that there's a Google like search page. Uh, nothing interesting here. Um, I saw this GitHub page, but it doesn't lead to anything interesting. So that would be it for this page. However, um, if we go back to the login page on stager uh, staging order dot mango dot the box, um, what I uh, you know as I previously said, most hack the box boxes have something related to their name. Um, either did it's like a hint for future reference. So this one have this one has mango. And what I thought, okay, what do I know about mango and security? Well, there's right. Uh, yeah, the most popular database for modern apps, they, they say that, right? So here is in Romanian, but um, the thing is that it says that MongoDB uses is a uh, NoSQL database, so that means that no uh, MongoDB uses NoSQL, right? So I've I've searched online for NoSQL exploits, I mean at injections and such, and I found this very interesting site. I mean, I recommend to, I recommend it to you. It's very useful, especially if you're thinking of having the OSP exam. It's it has a lot of resources and very specific stuff. And this one has a script that brute forces login usernames and password and password and passwords. Sorry, for a uh, MangoDB um, 
uh, website, All right? So we have the MangoDB website, uh, presumably, right? Like, I don't know for sure if it's a MangoDB, but I can try. So I've copied the exploit. I mean, you can copy it uh, here. I mean, it's not an exploit, it's like brute force, sorry. Um, and I have it here. Uh, cat exploit.py. And of course, we have to. Um, if I go back on the internet, sorry. Uh, I you as you can see, I I, I removed some parts because uh, we don't have the cookies. Um, we don't need that, right? Um, I mean, I think it will work even with the cookie, but it doesn't matter really. So we have to modify it though. Um, to so we have to modify the URL to staging order than dot mango dot hackbox slash index php and host uh, staging order and mango that take the box and then adapt uh, basically we adapted the code to our specific box right so here as you can see um, the, the get user function uh, uses different payloads with regex uh, and it goes it goes like that until it finds um, it in until it find until it finds positive uh, responses in uh, response codes, and it does the same with the passwords, right? So it's usually if you have a, a uh, I don't know whatever SQL injection, whatever type of SQL injection, you can try both the username um, form and the password form or the email form if you have it. But in our case, we only have the username and the password. All right. So I'm gonna close this and. Um, I'm gonna run it. Um, it's gonna take a while, but oh, sorry, it's Python three. <laughs> yeah, my bad. Um, I'm gonna run it. it. It's gonna take a while, so I'm gonna skip to the moment um, it ends. Yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, so as you can see, as you can tell, um, the script um, ended successfully, executed successfully, and we have admins and mangos passwords. Uh, now, of course, we can use them here on the staging order that mango dot tag the box, but there will be nothing interesting really. Um, I think though, if you take a look at Wireshark, uh, Wireshark's um, uh, network, you, you can see something interesting like uh, the SSH thing, the SSH uh, request, but I don't know for sure, I haven't tried it. Now that I started recording it with uh, the OBS, um, maybe if you're used from my previous videos, you 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 know that whenever I connect to SSH, uh, OBS fails. I mean, it crashes for some reason. So now we just crashed. Uh, I logged in previously and it just crashed. So I'm not gonna show you that it crashes because <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter. So where can we use those uh, credentials well we can try to do ssh um i'm gonna do the ssh with on mango first uh, it's, it's easier and i'm gonna paste it here yeah um obs just crashed again so i'm just gonna do it as fast as possible if we go where are we we are home on home right so we know that we have another user's password right and if we say ls home we see that we have admin but we have admin's password so we can just copy the password and say su uh, for change the user su admin change the password then we have uh, we are um, admin, right? But admin, however, is not the root, so this is not the end game, of course. We go to, oh, we have, yeah. If we go back to admin, not back, if we go to admin's folder, we have admin here. We also have lean and um sh from somebody else. Um, but I'm gonna use uh, my my favorite tool called InPiece. And if we go to temp, not alter some stuff here. Um, if I go uh, 
training, I think. Tools, lean piece, lean. Uh, lean piece is basically working just as lean and arm that sh. Um, it's a privilege escalation uh, enumerator of sorts. I have it here. Uh, I'm gonna post a link in the description below so you can download it as well. Uh, Python minus m to go like that. Hit enter. Allow. Um, I must see what address I have. So 10, 10, 15, 20, 15. I do grab 10 because the open VPN, um, the open VPN uh, address from hack the box is like that. So we go back to the SSH and we say double get HTTP to get the file. And we want to get limpies.sh. So I did Python minus M, a simple HTTP server to um, open up a HTTP server to get a file from from my from my local host from my local machine to uh, Mango, and I do this double get uh, limpies that sh all right, and I do chmod. I know I can just say sh uh, limpies that sh, but I like to do it with chmod. And like that and run it yeah it prints up uh, it prints some really interesting things um, however we won't really need all of that um, we'll just need uh, something really interesting and I really like I really like this is the only thing that I liked about that I liked about the box I mean this and it because it also has SSH running, so SSH is very fluid and fast. But the privilege escalation on it was really cool. Um, yeah, to wait until it's over. All right, so it found the interesting part here. Um, I'm not gonna cancel it. I'm just gonna say. We, we can see this uh, JJS uh, and if I go to and close this because I don't need it anymore this one as well um, uh, to this to this, to this page uh, GTFO bins as you can see it has a list for most of the Unix binaries um, that can be exploited or bypassed at least to get to Escalate your privileges, right? And I and I search J JJS. I go here, and as you can see, it has different stuff. Um, has the, you can you can break from restricted environments with just with JJS. Um, you can do a reverse shell like this. You can download a file, right? You can write a file, and you can read a file. Well. At first, before the before doing this uh, video recording to to get a write up, what I did was I did only read the uh, root uh, the txt flag because I I didn't need a uh, reversal on the root. But now to prove that I can also get a reversal on the root, I'm gonna show you how to get it. Um, okay, so we know that we can write files here, right? Um, The thing is that uh, the root, uh, I mean, our current, uh, the, the current root does not does not have anything in that .ssh, .ssh folder. So it doesn't, like, because at first I, I thought, okay, maybe I can read that, that .ssh, uh, that, uh, the IDR say I'm going to show you. So uh, let's open up here the Visual Studio code. I'm going to drag it up here and paste it to modify it. Uh, and I said, okay, root, uh, yeah, root, uh, this is age of ID, RSA, and I'll copy this, um, and paste it here in that terminal, enter. Yeah, it doesn't say anything, because there's no such file or directory, right? Um, 
but what I can do is make my own uh, IDRSA uh, from my host from the from the Mac basically and upload it because we, we uh, as you see here we also have file right okay so I'm gonna just show you how I did it you you, you go, I go back to the let's say which directory are we in I'm here okay um here uh, if it says ssh key uh, dot uh, minus keygen keygen um it's gonna print out your id or say and id or say but pop no password of course and we can upload those i mean the id or say we can upload the, the id or say on the um, sorry the id or say dot pub that pub uh, I can upload this on mango and uh, within of course the dot SSH from the root right okay uh, okay so I go back to Visual Studio code and this is the payload that we would want so echo that it's basically I just took it from here the file right um, I took it from here and I said write it on root SSH authorized keys um, and what to write and I, I, I paste it here uh, as you can see I paste it there the my um, where is it uh, yeah I pasted the idea or say that Bob all right so I'm gonna copy this Paste it here, and um, I think it worked because we don't have any errors, right? So now what we can do, uh, the OBS, I think the OBS is gonna crash again. Hopefully, uh, it recorded what I had so far. Uh, SSH root around mango that like the box and minus i, uh, the idea say which we created with the. Uh, SSH SSH minus keygen, uh, and that's where we have the idea of save that pop from, right? So we connect SSH root around mango that the box minus i idrsa I hit enter, and we are root. Apparently, um, OBS didn't crash this time. So, yeah, so this is the. Um, this is this is a walkthrough of uh, root of mango from Hackbox, not root. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I hope you learned something new from this video, guys. And uh, as usual, thank you so much for your support and uh, for watching this, uh, for watching my journey. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next time. See ya.